So why if you're only missing one tooth, you'd want it, why would you want to get a dental implant? So in traditional dentistry, the option that we used to defer to is doing like a bridge over the area where you're missing a tooth. And the disadvantage of the bridge is we actually had to carve down or reshape the teeth adjacent to the gap. And those could have been perfectly healthy, good teeth that we were just using as anchors or support for this bridge. But now with dental implants, and you know, the, sorry, the other thing about the bridge is, you know, those maybe last, you know, 10 years, 12 years, but if we want a more permanent solution that's gonna be less expensive in the long run, it would be a dental implant. You know, we can leave those two other teeth alone. We don't have to touch those teeth. We can just exclusively work in that area where, where the person is missing the tooth. And it's literally like getting their tooth back. Is that right? And they can eat whatever they want? They can eat How whatever soon they, can they eat? They can, I mean, they can literally eat once we finally deliver the final crown. They can floss around it just like they would any other tooth. There's no special maintenance to so it. So is that, now what about expense? Expense-wise, long-term, it's going to be less uh, to do an implant um, in, the, in the present than doing a bridge in the long-term. Because if you have to do a bridge and then you know, something happens to one of those teeth, maybe you need a root canal now on one of those teeth, maybe the bridge has to be redone, then you're doubling the expense over time. Still, an implant would be cheaper. So implants like getting your tooth back. Exactly, exactly. And, and they can last for how long? They can last for, I mean... So if in your 40s, you could have it forever? Oh, for your life, yeah, yeah, I would say, for sure. So how old can you be to get dental implants? Yeah, so, you know, our, our oldest patient has probably been in their 90s who's gotten... Age isn't really the issue. And, um, I mean, studies have shown, I mean, people up into their 90s could receive dental implants. What about pain? Implants. It seems painful. It's actually not. I mean, again, with, you know, oral sedation, with 3D cone beam technology, um, we're able to place these implants more efficiently, more effectively to alleviate that that post-op pain and, and 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 again there's this there's this image that it's just this huge surgery this big procedure which it, which it is but the recovery time is minimal and um, the result is again amazing in the end